Hello everyone, Nico Alexopoulos, soccer skills, just for keepers, and Weiner University's assistant coach and goalkeeping coach. Today's video was a spare of a moment video, and what um, prompted me to make this video is an email I received. The title of today's video is, Why College ID Camps, Clinics, and College Showcase Tournaments may be a waste of money and not be the best possible path to a college scholarship. So what do we mean with that? In recent years, more and more college showcase tournaments appear. The solicitations to every high school student ages 14 to 17, I mean, by the time you're 17, 18, you probably already have made a decision uh, on if you're going to go to college, the college of your choice, and most athletes by then have committed to a, a university or a college. But a war of warning. Not every solicitation may be the best possible situation, and some of them may be just waste of money. Before I continue, just want to put some thoughts to rest. I'm going to pull out my browser. If you if you guys want to just Google why in a university pride, I am on the coaching staff. I'm one of the assistant coaches as well as a goalkeeping coach. So I was on staff last year. I am on staff this year. Uh, today is April, uh, April 16th. Is it 16th? Hold on a second. Today is April 20th. Apologies. Oof. Month has got, got away from me. Um, and actually, we are going to be doing a uh, clinic ID on Sunday, which is the 22nd. But I want to explain a couple things to you. So I have a 15-year-old daughter. She's a freshman in high school. Um, she has, gets regular solicitations from... Uh, groups that cater to recruiting or showcasing um, potential high school students to play in college. My daughter has a huddle account, and anyone that wants to Google her name, it will pop up. And a lot of the companies that quote unquote are promoting uh, student athletes to a path to a college education and a college sport take that information and solicit. What really got me today was that I got an email and I will show it to you shortly. You may have gotten emails in the past and you may have experienced this but my daughter has gotten emails Basically saying this exact quote-unquote thing. We really enjoy watching you at XYZ tournaments. We feel that you have great potential, potential, and we would like to invite you to our ID camp. There's going to be 25 top colleges, Division One, Division Two, and Division Three, which just sounds fantastic. And to a first-time parent who's just beginning to you know go through the recruiting journey is exciting here's the catch my daughter was never at that particular tournament it's a general generic email that's sent out to databases of students and once you show up in those camps you realize it's nothing more than a money grabbing situation and I may be harsh a little bit here I'm not saying that every outfit is like that I'm not saying that there aren't legitimate ones but you have to be careful some are advertising that the head coaches are going to be there and sometimes they're not sometimes they're advertising that a specific coach may be there, and he or she may not be there. But at the end of the day, 
It's another system to generate revenue for those companies. So once again, I hope you guys realize, you make your solicitation emails like the one, and by the way, my daughter has received two of those particular ones, indicating that they saw her at a particular college showcase tournament. They were impressed by her ability, and they would like her to invite her to that to their particular college ID camp, which is nothing short of a lie because my daughter was never in that particular tournament. My never my daughter never played. What really rocked my boat was the email that I received today, and here it is. Hello, Nico. You have been selected to an invitation to the exact Soccer Academy 50 ID camp for rising freshmen and sophomores. This intensive three-day event is being held in five national locations, each with 50 of the top college programs in the United States attending. We are inviting the top players in your age group to participate. The, acad the Academic 50 ID Camp is designed for prospects with potential to play college soccer at a strong academic school. With 50 college coaches attending, this is the best place for you to interface with the top college coaches in the country and kickstart your college process. Early bird price online goes up Monday, so register online by Sunday night, 11.59 p.m. CST or to RSVP and reserve your roster spot. If you have any questions about the Academic 50 ID Camp, please let us know. And then you can click on here, View Invitation Details for Nico Alexopoulos, here. You click on that, and it will take you to our website, Academic 50 Invitation. Nico Alexopoulos, you have been selected for an invitation to the premier soccer ID Camp in the USA. View Invitation Details and select your location. Okay, you can click here, and it has one, two, three, four five locations where you can go participate. Um, I'm sure that if you go through the registration process, let's just go through the registration process. Register here. Okay. Um, athlete's name, email, all that good stuff. Uh, let's see what this camp costs. Doesn't give you, um, I guess it doesn't give you a price until you go through the registration process, which I will not. But once again, here's the catch, guys. I am 53 years old. I am a college coach, and I am being solicited to go to a college ID camp. Please, please, please be careful. I, I get those emails all the time. Here's another one. Number one, soccer camps, college ID showcase camps. The best college ID camp to get recruited. And I'm sure that if you have a, a high school child that has played a sport, you guys get them as well. But this particular one just, you know, threw me over for a loop. A 53-year-old college coach being solicited to attend an academic 50 ID camp for soccer. All right? It's it's just ridiculous. Some of this this and please don't think that I'm trying to be, you know, malicious. But all I'm trying to do is just forewarn people out there about where to spend their money. Okay? If you don't know my background, I invite you to, you know, go to soccerskills.net or just for keepers or um uh, any other of my sites. And view my background. Excuse me one second. <laughs> Sorry about that. You can see my 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 uh, background. I am a full time sports entrepreneur. I do derive a revenue from sports in different scenarios, in different ways. However, there's got to be a limit to providing a quality service without misguiding people. And you guys draw a conclusion on your own on this. Now, that's not to say, like, you know, if we go back to our title of, of the video, 
why College ID Camps, clinics, and College Showcase tournaments may be a waste of money and not the best possible path to a College Showcase scholarship. I'm sorry. Okay. Could you actually go to the College Showcase tournaments and get a look? Yes, absolutely. But keep something in mind. These big college showcase tournaments, and there are some very big tournaments across the country, there's going to be, you know, even 1,000 or even more, 1,500, 2,000, a couple of thousand, maybe even more, uh, just thousands of people, of kids playing in these tournaments. Now, there is college coaches, scouts on those tournaments. Why in the university we go and we scout in some of those tournaments? But you get to see a lot of players, okay? Yes, you take notes, numbers, you evaluate, but you get to see a lot of players in any given day. So the numbers and the names sometimes may get a little fuzzy. Furthermore, a player may not have a good day that particular day, may not have a good game that particular day while the coach is watching that player. Or, while a player is having a fantastic game, the college coach that he's interested in may not be watching that particular game. So, it might be an opportunity that was wasted. And after that, the college coach may go and see another game and never get to see another opportunity to see that, 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 coach, that player. On our staff a wider University, we have two coaches that never play club ball, never play pre-academy ball, never play for an academy. They just play high school soccer. They knew they were good enough. They knew that they want to play soccer. They chose their schools that they were interested in. They contacted the coaches because you have to have contact with the coaches. You have to build a relationship with the coaches. You can't just, you know, send a generic email to the coach, you know. First of all, the Player, the interested player has to create an email and approach the coach, not the parents. It's their gig, not the parents. Approach the, the, the perspective or the, you know, the, the university and the coach that you're interested in. Give them some information about you and invite them to come and watch you at one of your tournaments or one of your games. It doesn't really have to do to be a uh, college showcase tournament. In fact, one of the teams that I coach, they're a U-17 high-level boys team. One of the local Division I universities in New Jersey scouted. The coach was in one of our games. It was just a regular game. And the coach was one of our games and invited four of our players to go into an ID camp for their university, for their college, which I'm not going to name. Because he saw an interest. So those players now have the choice. Hey, do I like that school? Does that school have the curriculum that I'm interested in? Do they have the courses and the path that I want to choose to major in? And they have to make a decision if they can, if they would like to go. But the coach saw them, reached out to them. Now, um, they can basically decide for themselves. If you would like to play a sport, and it's not not soccer, I mean, it's every other sport, maybe maybe football might be different because, you know, it's the biggest sport, biggest college sport, football and basketball. Uh, In my opinion, I think they're probably the biggest two collegiate sports out there. Uh, But everything else, if you want to play a sport in college, if you have an interest in possibly getting you know, some money to help you with your academic career through sports. You don't really need college ID camps, clinics, college showcase tournaments. There might be other ways. In fact, there are other ways and they've been proven. You're a good enough player. You have confidence. Contact a university that you're interested in. Do your due diligence. Visit universities. See what's a good fit for you. I'm not going to get into a detail about you know, how a a college university um, approach should be, what colleges you should visit, what the criteria should be. There's uh, a lot of other um, 
people that better through than me to give you a complete analysis on how you should approach this. But the simple way, you know, is discover or, you know, do your due diligence as a, as a player or, you know, as a family, as a parent who wants to help your child. Find a good fit for that university. And if you feel that you're confident enough that you can play at that level, approach or email the, the coach and say that you have an interest. Uh, invite them to come and watch, you know, a game or a tournament or what have you. And then, you know, possibly attend one of their college IDs, which they hold on their grounds with the coaches being there so they can take a closer look at you. Therefore, eliminating a lot of the un, you know, a, a lot of the unwanted money expense, which I'm sure nobody wants to spend. So that you, um, you understand, if you just Google basically, let me just shut this song. If you just Google any uh, university, really, I mean, this is Widener's University. You know, you want to just Google Widener soccer camps for women. I am the coach on the women's staff. Uh, you want you want to go to if you're in New Jersey, you want to go to any other university, any other college, or it doesn't matter what or where in this con- in a country. Just go Google and Google their camps, and something will pop up. You know, our, our camp is the most recent one is 421 here, 422. I'm sorry. It tells you to register. You click, you register, and you attend the camp. It tells you, you know, the schedule. Tells you everything there is to know. Okay, and you can attend the camp. So once again, getting back to this, the the reason why I jumped to make this video is that your college ID camps, your clinics, your college showcase tournaments may not be the best possible way to do it, depending on your budget. I mean, some of the, you know, some of the tournaments you have to travel quite a bit it's a weekend spend money on hotels lodging food this that at the end at the end of the of the experience it's going to be quite a bit of money that you have to do this over and over again so depending on you know your your pocketbook another alternative may you know may be that hey i'm good enough i know i can play at that level i want to shop around see which university universities or colleges are a good fit i'm going to approach the coach send him an email introduce myself and go from there every player is a product to a coach every player is a product to a coach so the player needs to do his or her best to sell himself to that particular coach here's a very key piece of information the days that people thought oh well, i'm a good soccer player i can go anywhere are long gone okay you have to have your academics in order Regardless if you want to get no money or some money or all the money in a form of a scholarship, regardless if you're going to go to a Division I, Division II, or Division III school, okay, you have to have your academics in order. You have to be, you know, good quality students because colleges look at that. Because as a coach, if I can give you, if you can earn, an academic scholarship or a partial academic scholarship, that means you're not going to cost me my athletic money. I don't have to use my budget or I can only use a part of my budget to for you. That means I can go and recruit another player. So having quality grades, good test scores, helps a lot in the process. Colleges, by the way, are not just looking for high grades high scores they're looking for a total package are you what kind of ca- character do you have what kind of personality are you doing extracurricular activity do you play sports do you participate in volunteer work they want a whole package they want a fully rounded person to attend the university so it's not just hey i'm a great soccer player and that's it it's not going to be good enough and you're going to be disappointed there's a lot of smart kids out there that are getting not decline, but they're not getting accepted because all they got is just academics. They got great grades, but they got nothing else to offer. And vice versa, there's a lot of good athletes out there that they don't have the grades, but they think they're going to get into a good school. And don't get hang up about playing Division One or Division Two. Division Three colleges, first of all, they are much bigger of number in the U.S. There's more college money at Division Three. There's a lot of good talent, Division Three. There's a lot of good colleges that are Division Three colleges that can not only can compete with Division One, but beat them every time. There's a lot of good programs. 
So don't snob Division Three, Division Two for Division One. And let's be honest, Division One is not just—it's just not for everybody. It's a very, very difficult path to get to. So once again, without getting carried away, the reason of this video and it's getting a little dragged on is that I want everybody to be aware of some of the things that are going out there, some of the solicitations, and be skeptical of where you're going to spend your money. Do your due diligence. And don't just spend your money. Don't just write the checks. Once again, for those of you that know me and follow my videos, I'm a big, 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 you know, uh, believer. In, and I keep blasting people that are just writing checks. They're writing checks for pre-academies. They're writing checks for this. They're writing checks for that. Hey, listen, full disclosure, I get paid to coach players. I get paid to coach a, a soccer team. I'm a paid coach. I, pay, I get paid to train kids. But there's got to be a limit. There's got to be within a limit. A U7 player should not be spending $5,000 to get trained. It's too early. Actually, shouldn't spend any money. So same thing with this. Okay? I'm not saying that there's no merit to a college ID camp. There's no merit to a college ID clinic or a college showcase tournament. Okay? But be careful. Be careful. Do your due diligence before you spend the money. Nicole Alexopoulos, Soccer Skills. Have a great day.